guys and welcome back to Majestic Moon. My name is Greg and I'm here for the match preview for Minnesota United versus Portland Timber Saturday, May 20th at Providence Park. 9.30 p.m. I think they said about 9.37 p.m. kickoff. Portland, of course, we all have, most of us had midweek games. Portland are coming off of a nil-nil away draw. To RSL Portland currently sits six in the West on a four four five record. We know they have quality players in Diego Chara, Sebastian Blanco, Yimmy Chara, um, Christian Paredes, Evander, Frank Bowley, Darren Esprilla, under Giovanni Zavarisi in his sixth full season. They tend to play the four two three one as well um but yeah i know it's it it is what it is you know we know they're a, a good a good team and um they have, they have the they have quality to 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 prove it as far as minnesota we're coming off of a midweek 1-0 uh home win the first home win of the season over the Houston Dynamo um as far as our injuries Jabasi is still a few weeks out Jiba's out Marquez is out and uh announced that Wood has suffered a torn meniscus let me thought it happened during the first half of the of the Houston game so we might have played the entire second half with the torn meniscus. Uh, he'll be out for who knows how long. I know he has surgery on the uh, this Monday, May 22nd. So I'll be best um, on to his surgery and uh, recovery and getting back. Now we know the squad ro rotation is going to be really, really key because I think we're playing like almost midweek on the weekend, midweek weekend for a quite quite a bit. So rotation and squad depth is going to be crucial with that. Um, so with that, I'm going to get into my starting 11 for this game in between the sticks, Dane St. Clair. No brainer back line of Kamar Lawrence, Mickey Tapias, Michael Boxall, and DJ Taylor. Um, I feel like a little bit that our 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 fullbacks have let us down a little bit, being caught up too high up the pitch sometimes. Um, but yeah, um. The the two sixes, I'm going to go with Kervin Ariaga and then either Joseph Rosales or Hassani Dotson give Will Trap a little bit of a uh a a break there. Um because you know that almost seems like traps Got that yellow card in him almost, almost every game. Front four. Left, um, on the left, Fregapane, number 10. Sam Min Young. On the right, Bangigule Halangwe. And up top, Mender Garcia. Um, yeah. That loot is really, really in. And you know, it doesn't help still, you know, Reynoso is back and he's he's clear, you know, cleared and able to play join in for his team, but that might be, you know, a, a few weeks for him to get his, his fitness back up and you know, that same week, you know, he's able we lose Lude to a, a a torn meniscus. Um, so that's uh, you know, depending to, you know, do we get a Maybe try to get like a short term, you know, loan in the secondary for for a, a winger. Um, 
or you know give maybe somebody like a Cameron Dunbar or a, a try you know really put him as as a back you know a back you know back up and get get him a lot more um involved but of course we know Portland um as far as like my match prediction we know Portland is tough to get a result I think all our um I'm looking at our results going back to our, our played our first ever MLS game in Portland. We lost five one. Next visit we lost three two. Then we drew nil nil. We won three one, won one nil. Then lost three one and lost one nil. So yeah, I know it's. It's very, and I think, I think, I think we can get it, get it done, but we'll all need to get in and, you know, hopeful, hopeful, you know, we can get, get a result. So that's going to do it for this match preview. Make sure to like video, comment your predictions for the game down below, subscribe, share, and come on, you